Hello students, welcome to another lesson that we have. For this lesson, I will ask you which among the many others is the true church founded by Jesus Christ. Ako sa ito ang binulungan, kung saan ang tinungod niya simbahan. Is it the Catholic, is it the Protestant, or Iglesia ni Cristo and other churches that we have here existing nowadays? We will discuss that one in this subject and in this lesson. This is lesson number three. Welcome. Or entitled the Apostolic Foundation and the Salvific Mission of the Church. It answers also the questions uh, which I have given to you. Kung sa magyod ang tinuod nga simbahan, and our title would say. It is the true church if it is apostolic and founded of Jesus Christ. How can we say that the church is the one that is founded by Jesus Christ? How? Let's take a look at this. The truth about the apostolic church. There are some points we have to consider. Para makaingunta nga uh, ang simbahan is really the church founded by Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. There are four things to consider. The first one, you have to trace the apostolic succession of those who claim that there is the true church. If the church uh, wala naga follow sa succession class, from Abraham up to St. Peter, then I doubt, and the church would doubt, saying, Dili na mao ang simbahan nga gitukod ni Jesus. Right now, you already know that the church I am referring is the people, the faith of the people inside the church. It is not the building, it is not the cathedral, and it is not the chapel that uh, you are seeing around our society take note that the authority of the church is not democratic mo nang ginatawag class nga succession lineage uh, it is not uh, what is the decision of the majority of the people is always right it is pyramidic in the sense that the power is from above. The authority is from the God, the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The church is built upon Jesus Christ as the head and given to the apostles. Later on, we will be discussing kinsa ang mga apostles. What is the meaning of the word apostle? It is called the succession. No? The term succession class is the appointment of someone that would uh, follow, would do the assignment in the next time, in the next generation. That's the term succession. Especially, it is the appointment from someone who has the authority. Christ founded the church as a visible organization with central authority and constituted church leaders. Iyang gipang pili ang iyahang mga leaders sa simbahan. Then the succession of Peter. Isa sa iyang gipili is Saint Peter. You Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. Whatever is your decision on earth will be followed also in heaven. That's the simple uh, translation of the word of Jesus Christ to St. Peter. Gitagaan yung assignment class kani si Pedro. Diha bago, before Jesus Christ uh, went back to the Father. He gave the assignment to Peter. 
warag o sa classroom setting pa class si St. Peter mao ang representative siya ang uh, class representative the president the only one uh, chosen by God to stand as the leader of the church nowadays it is clear to every Christian that Peter is the head of the church or we say he is the Pope kung pangutan on mo class who is the first Pope in the history it should be clear to you right now that the first Pope in the history is Saint Peter kasi ang gitagaan diha sa pinakaunang responsibilidad of taking care our church the last uh, point that you have to consider na maka-answer siya nga ang church is that church uh, built by Jesus Christ is that the apostolic succession is unbroken kung na diversion it means it is not following that line from Saint Peter kung nagasunod ba ta sa mga pagtulunan ni Heso Kristo o katong yang ipang tulo kang Saint Peter pag wala siya nagasubay biblically it's quite uh, a hectic task for everyone to know about this but for those who are in the church would know this line age must be a continuity and not a broken line try to see this slide there is the line age from Abraham up to the time of Jesus Christ mabasa na to na siya every novena proceeding to Christmas we can hear this very long gospel about the genealogy of Jesus Christ kana gumadonga ninyo nga taas kayo nga reading of names tanan nga mga names na dito another question uh, kay nagasisgot panta sa apostolic succession unsay pasabot anang apostles in the first place uh, apostles they are the people chosen by Jesus Christ the second they are normal human beings most of them are fishermen we have tax collectors normal ang ilang kinabuhi uh, in terms of moral life na po sa ilahang uh, makasasala they are not perfect called by God to be part of his mission or in the Bible they are known also as the twelve the original apostles who witnessed the whole life of Jesus Christ uh, we just heard it uh, the first day of ordinary time mabasa na na ninyo padunggan ninyo sa gospel mainta tog natay klase no uh, every morning you are listening the gospel of the day o, sa diha nga namatay na banhaw o nibalik na sa Jesus going back to the father's throne ang nabilin ang mga apostles except sa kinsa kinsa ang wala na ng apostle except kay Judas Judas Iscariot took the suicide no? he decided to to die because of the guilt he got so 11 sila nya napulihan na pud sila og another set of apostles mao na siya diha nagsugod ang term nga apostles class nya succession until now we have many disciples followers in other words ang maka relate ani nga words sa uh, Facebook o Twitter na ay ginatawag nga followers pero dili na siya new nga term class sa una pa na nana day followers nga ginatawag pero not in social media atay ginatawag nga followers mao na sila ang mga apostles the followers of whom si Jesus Christ ang ilahang ginafollow Mopat na karon no kita we are called to be a followers of him we are the successors it could be bishop priest deacons and even ordinary people 
we can be a follower of Christ in our very simple way because of the virtue of our baptism. We became followers of Christ. Kanus aman nga gikonfirm nga nahimo kang uh, tagasunod ni Jesus Christ. Subscriber, we say. It is the time that you are baptized. Take note of that. During your baptism, you accepted, your parents accepted, kaya wap man kay buot ato, your parents accepted yet that you will become the follower of Jesus Christ. And you have confirmed it. Ngayon ka nga, o, tinood, nga gusto ko musunod kang Kristo during the time when you are confirmed. Kaya namdam no, kanos ang mga confirmahan. You have to remember that one. The day of your confirmation as well as the day of your baptism. The mark of apostolicity. It gives us an understanding when we recite the prayer of the creed. In the creed, no, every Sunday after the homily of the priest, this is the time the the priest would say, "Let us recite now the creed." Manet dan cah, we believe in the Catholic, we believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and so on. Di batas kain nak cah, no. Then the last and the middle part na ada ginaing undi to. We believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, ni ba? So nasa dia naga sumpai Apostolic Church. Ang sa may pasabot na when we speak of apostolic. So, mo na'y palaluma na ito karoon. Dapat, every time, mamayon ka, we believe in the apostolic church, dapat nasabdanin mo na siya, class. Because you have taken the subject of Father Julio. Hindi mo magtanga-tanga. Every time, mag-recite mo, ano'y nakabalunan mo, no? What is the meaning of apostolic? Apostolic church. Apostolic mission, it means you have to do something. Mission. Commissioned apostles. Gitagaan mo og assignment nga buhaton. Go to the world and proclaim the gospel. Lili na siya maunang. Go to the world and multiply. Actually mo, ni ang tama. Go to the world and proclaim the gospel. At to ka mo sa kanasuran o pagsangyaw sa maayong balita. Muna ay pasabot nga gitagaan ta o assignment. Asa man ninyo madungog sa every mass? Na wala mo kabalong nga kada isa sa tua. Each one of us is given that kind of assignment. Kada isa sa tua. Every mass. Ginaingon. Go. The mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Humana ang misa, panglakaw ka mo, huwag isang yaw ang maayong balita. Kaya ang tinood na gasang yaw sa maayong balita is giving peace to everyone, to the other. If you are saying a good news to other, you are also bringing peace the peace another is apostolic in character what is the character daily na siya animia apostolic in character the same church as it was before dapat when we speak of apostolic copy paste daily it's more than copy paste it's certified true original copy of the church founded by Jesus Christ before dapat aware ka class ng imong simbahan nga gina sudlan karon it should be the same Christ uh, the same church founded by Jesus Christ 2000 years ago the same ang iyahang virtue the same ang doctrine nga iyahang gipoy an apostolic in teaching okay dapat ang mga gitudlo gikan sa una ni Jesus Christ is in line ang gitudlo sa mga apostoles uh, ang, what is being taught by Saint Peter 
and the apostles should be the same with the teaching of Jesus Christ. There. Do not be carried away by any strange teachings. Dapat ang ato ang mga gipang tudlo sa uban in line the truth given by Jesus Christ to his followers. Apostolic indecent. The church is built but remain founded on Christ even though it is succeeding in many generations this is the same church founded on Christ la siya naka-angkor kay Iglesia Nicolas what is this is a good question class before ending what is your assignment every one of us we have a spiritual assignment. Kung naamoy class assignment, subject assignment, na putay, shall we say, individual spiritual assignment. Or in other word, it is called the mission. Muna pasabot sa mission. Imong buha to nun while you live here on earth. It is from the Latin word. Ay magkakulba ah, Latin word. Dali ra kayo ni. Salus animarum oh, dapat ma-remember ma ma ninyo na ha is a salos animarum say it in a loud voice salos animarum it is translated as salvation of souls mao na ang ato ang mission kada isa sa tua you have to spread the gospel live your life in the world in order to be saved and to save others salus animarum that's our mission what is our goal of loving don't you know that loving and saving is the same um, the way you live your life is for other you have to love not to destroy the life of other not to hurt other not to lead others to damnation daghang mga dagan magutag mga binuhatan dali sa kalibutan na minus puntos minus points uh, patungong langit uh, kanang famous ron nga trending sa Facebook no? how many points deducted going to heaven if we are not in line with this word, salus animarum, if our life is not oriented to save the souls of our own self and the others, it might be you know, that we are not earning points leading to hell. Para maabot yun mo class, katong salus animarum, you have to preserve ang nabuhat ni Cristo. Mora ba na siya, no? You have to preserve you have to do it by yourself if not really perfectly we cannot do perfectly as jesus christ did but in some way we can preserve his act through the appointment of individual to carry out his work mo na ang gibuhat sa simbahan para sa tua kita gaantag tagsa tagsa ka mga responsibilidad that's why during the time that we are going to church, dagan kaig mga obligation class, dagan kaig ipabuhat ang pare sa tua. Giving up the power and the authority to the apostles. The apostles are given their different assignment in their lifetime. Tagsa tagsa silag mga mga role. No? Kadaisa sa ilaha. And the preservation of the life of Christ remember do it in memory of me mauna sa inging ni Jesus Christ uh, the reminder of repeat repeating what has been done during the last supper magbalik-balik sa ato ang kinabuhi what happened during the last supper mauna ang ginabuhas class nga every time nga natay misa 
gina-remember na to ang Last Supper. Kabalo mo nga ang Misa is also known as the Last Supper. This is the last slide. Mo na gina we are two. We two are in mission. Kada isa sa tuwa natay mga mission pod. We have something to do. Something good, greater, a greater good for others. That's actually the meaning of love. In Italian class, uh, love to love means giving what is best for the other. Looking and providing what makes the other happy. Making and providing what makes the other happy. That's the meaning of love from Italian. Ti voglio bene. We are two in mission. From Lumen Gentium. We are guided by the light. Gen Lumen means light. Jesus Christ is the true light of the world. And Agentes means going to the world. We are sent to the world. Gipakatawo ka. You are born because you have to do something to the world. Dili ta magkulong sa tuang kaugalingon nga kalibutan. We bring to the world the Trinitarian God, Christ, and the mission of the Holy Spirit. I hope you acquired something about this topic unsa ang simbahan when we speak of when we speak of mission apostolic mission goodbye and grazie